Let's process our background vocals on this track using Xbox. For this, there's a few different ways we can go about it. We could load Xbox individually on each track and then process them that way. Or we could process them as a group. In this case, we've got such massive stacks of background vocals, it makes a bit more sense to process them all together as a group. In Logic Pro for iPad, we're gonna grab all of the verse background vocals. Now we can send this to a new bus output and we'll call this our verse background vocal bus. We'll make sure all of our background vocals are sent there, so now we can process them all together on this group. The way that you got me overthinking now, overthinking now. I'll do the same process with a new bus for our pre-chorus background vocals and our chorus background vocals. So now we've got our three different buses for all of our different background vocals here. Let's start with our chorus background vocals. We're gonna add Xbox to this track and let's look at some of our background vocal presets. Ooh, you say not to think about it. This enhanced background vocals is a great starting point. Let's dial it in from here. One thing I like is that we're adding a little bit of air, but I wanna see if we can add even a little bit more sparkle to this one. Let's also try some different spaces, maybe something a little bit bigger. that's doing to the background vocals let's take a listen before and after xbox it really makes those background vocals stand out and feel glued together i'm going to go ahead and save this as a new preset now i can quickly load it up on these other tracks i want to try something a bit creative here in the pre-chorus I hate the nights when I'm alone I'm through with keeping all alone I want to try creating kind of a vocal pad effect So I'm going to use a much bigger reverb, maybe Infiniverb you, I hate the nights when I'm alone I'm through with keeping all alone I hate the nights when I'm alone Baby, what you want to do? I hate the nights when I'm alone I'm through with keeping all alone in this mix, I like this because it creates a special moment. It changes something about the track, makes it interesting and exciting and fresh, and it's something you want to look for as you're mixing. You want to keep the mix evolving as it goes. So it's not just static sounds, but rather sections that keep you engaged as a listener. Take a listen as we go from the verse to the pre-chorus. Cause they fade, I want memories are made with you. I hate the nights when I'm alone. I'm through with keeping all alone. I hate the nights when I'm so we go from a tighter vocal stack to this pushed out, super massive sounding reverb. Just creates something special there at that moment. I could also try something cool like that on the lead vocal. I've got that on its own track here. I'm gonna pull up Xbox and see if we can play around with the reverb. Nice when I'm alone. I'm through with keeping all alone. I hate the nice when I'm alone. So I like that in this section. I like the lead vocal also kind of entering this atmospheric space. It creates a special moment in the mix. Let's see what we can do with the overall levels of the background vocals. The way that you got me overthinking now I can tell that you want it, want it. How you act make me wonder if you're in or out You take me for granted No making excuses, got a lot to do Cause I'm over the roses Let's take a listen before and after Xbox on all of our lead and background vocals. With Xbox on, the vocals completely open up and everything sounds so much clearer. There's a few more vocals to touch on and that is the ad-libs. For these ad-libs, I'm gonna start with the same lead vocal chain. That'll give us a good starting point. Roses. Cause they fade out all memories are made with you I hate the nights when I'm alone I'm through with keeping all alone I hate the nights I like what that's doing I also want to try just a bigger reverb on the ad-libs as well Keeping all alone I hate the nights when I'm alone Baby, what you wanna do? So 
just like that, we've got our background vocals, leads, and ad libs all processed. At this point, I'll generally take an ear break and come back with fresh ears so I can start comparing to commercial reference mixes and make sure that I'm liking all these choices and direction that we're going in the mix. In the next video, I'm gonna come back with fresh ears and show you how I like to take these vocals to the finish line.